As part of a course on tests and measurements, you take a test designed to measure shyness. Your score is 35 out of a possible 50. Does this mean you are shy, or that you are shyer than most people? You really can't say without more information. Think about what other information would be helpful. If your score of 35 was higher than 99% of the population, then you would be one of the shyest people around. On the other hand, if your score was higher than only 1% of the population, then you would be one of the least shy. Your percentile is the proportion of the population you scored higher than. Let's say that your score was higher than 65% of the population. Then your score would be the 65th percentile. There is no universally accepted definition of percentile. Practically speaking, it doesn't make much difference which definition is used when you have a lot of data. However, different definitions can lead to dramatically different results when there is relatively little data. There are two simple definitions of percentile. We will use the 65th percentile as an example. According to the first definition, the 65th percentile is the lowest score that is greater than 65% of the scores. This differs slightly from the second definition that considers the 65th percentile to be the lowest score that is greater than or equal to 65% of the scores. Neither of these simple definitions is explicit about how to round off. For example, determining the 65th percentile of a set of 50 scores is problematic since 65% of 50 is 32.5. You could round off and define the 65th percentile as the lowest score greater than 32 of the scores, or you could define it as the lowest score greater than 33 scores. There is a third definition that, despite being more complex than the other two, has several advantages. First, it is explicit about rounding. Second, it represents a compromise between the first two, resulting in a value between them. Finally, it allows the median, a measure of central tendency, to be defined as the 50th percentile. The formulas for this third definition are given in the standard mode. Unless otherwise specified, when we refer to percentile, we will be referring to this third definition of percentiles. Mm -hmm.